So we are in the model late 1500s Italian Renaissance city and it happens to be located in nowadays Eastern Poland. Jan Zamoyski in late 1500s is taking it very seriously to build an ideal town and he's following the best sketches of the Italian designers and this is becoming a certain pearl of Italian Renaissance in that time central Poland today 500 years later in eastern Poland this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site this was the city which was built and founded on multiculturality and multi-ethnicity Zamoyski's idea was to bring here all kinds of Central European ethnicities and have them collaborate into the erection of a town and running a town. So there were Jews, Armenians, Ashkenazi Jews and Sephardi Jews as well. Uh, there were of course Russian Orthodox and uh, Polish Catholics. Uh, including a certain dose of also German Protestants. And this ideal city in late 1500s was growing pretty fast, mostly based on the economy, feudal economy, uh, operating the enormous uh, agricultural areas of nowadays Ukraine and all of the harvest from there being transported to the key rivers in the region, so mostly to the Buk River, then down Vistula River into the Gdańsk, and then reloaded into the sea ships and delivered into Western Europe. So in the heyday of 15-1600s, Zamosh was an enormously important economic center, uh, also known for something which was called the Zamosh Academy, which was a pretty advanced higher education uh, school, kind of a, having university status.